Hi there. Welcome to my build of this 40 inch wingspan Voodoo 6. A really exciting flying wing. And we've got it to a fairly advanced stage now. But everything we've done so far is more or less predetermined. The elevator goes at the end where the elevator goes. The boom, the ailerons, the wing. But from now on, we need to start thinking about where we're going to put the rest of the components, particularly the electronics in the middle here, so that we balance the wing out at the end of the build. Because it's got quite a long nose on it, it's got a big engine at the front, and I do have concerns about how easy it is going to be to balance this, and whether we're going to end up putting some weight in the tail. The last thing we want to do is to add weight to this model. Much better than at this stage now, we start to think about whether we're going to put the battery or make provision for the battery back here, or whether we're going to fit the battery here. Now the CG is just on the back of, of, of this, the wing spar. So we can put the battery and the servos forward of the CG, back of the CG, easy at this stage. And so we need to now set it on the bench, get it on those balance points, on that CG point, and see where we need to put those elements like the battery and the servos to make sure that at the end of the build we're not adding a huge chunk of lead somewhere. Well this is proving to be a, a really interesting exercise. I've got the engine mounted on that we're going to be using for the wing, it's the Irvine 40, and the pipe that I'm going to be using. Fuel tank held in place with elastic bands. Now the wing itself, I put in a couple of T-pins on either end of the wing, I don't know whether those show up very well, and they're just on the CG point, so the point at which the wee wing needs to balance. But, as you can see from this, it's very, very nose heavy. Now, the components that we've got to play with are a servo for the elevator, a servo for the throttle, we've got the receiver which weighs nothing, and we've got the battery, which is a five cell um, nickel metal hydride. Now, even if I put these right back on this training edge here, we are still ending up with a wing which is quite nose heavy. There is quite a lot of weight still on, on that front end. Now, if I was to move this servo back here, It's still a little bit nose heavy, but it's a little bit better. Now, I obviously don't want to move this servo right back here. There's nowhere to hide it, nowhere to mount it very well. So, essentially, we have two options. I mean, we still, we still need to build the central covering here. We've got a couple of uh, ribs that will eventually go in here to support that covering. But there'll be very little weight in that, just a little bit of balsa. So essentially we've got two choices, the way I see it. We either stick a couple of ounces of lead in the back, I mean this is this is conceivably the, 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 the furthest back they could go, this lot, around here, and we'd still need a fair bit of weight, so we'd want a couple of ounces of lead possibly in the back there, which I really don't want to do, and I'm not going to do. The other option is to bring the fuel tank back somehow and I'll need to obviously think about how we design the cover here and the central portion and bring the wing but uh, the sorry the engine back a couple of inches and I think that is probably going to be our solution to uh, to balance this out I, I need to have a think about it but I really don't want to add weight to this. It's interesting because the the wing at the moment is built absolutely to spec. The weight of the engine, the length of the engine bearers. The only difference is these two servos for the ailerons, which are behind the CG, are so actually helping us with our balance issue that we have. In the build article that was in RCM magazine, there's no mention of um, 
any difficulties trying to balance the wing out. So, well, we'll, we'll I'll have to have a think about this, but I think the only thing I can do is to try and move this engine back as far as I as far as I can really. And it might be that actually the best option is to bring the fuel tank right back into that central section and bring the engine back at least two, two and a half inches and then just build around that. That might actually work out to be a, quite a nice, uh, a nice solution. So I'm going to have a think about that and then uh, I'll come back and we'll have a look at what the, uh, what the best option is. Okay, well I've been working on this now and giving it a bit of thought and essentially I've unbolted the engine and I've moved it back three quarters of an inch, about 18 millimetres. So essentially the, the hole we had in these uh, mounting rails for the rear bolt now lines up with the front bolt. So I need to do another couple of holes for the, uh, the rear mounting bolts for the engine. Now if I do it and set it at that and I lay the wing out like I've done here. So if I just turn this round, so essentially I've got the radio, I've got a small micro servo here for the throttle, and I've got a, a larger servo here for the elevator, and I put the battery hard up here against the, the spar. If I lay it out like that, with the fuel tank Let's say we're going to have it there for the moment. I, I haven't decided on the final location whether to have it further forward, but there seems quite a good location. I just need to think about how I'm going to set it out. So if we have it like that, and I just balance it on my fingertips, it's still just a little bit nose heavy, not a lot. We've got to remember we've got to put a prop on this as well, but it's just a little bit nose heavy. Now, if I move this battery, all the way back and I then balance it on my fingers it's most definitely a little bit tail heavy. Now we also need to remember we've got some screws bolts to go down the end for the horns we've got the control linkage to go down it's all going to have a little bit of weight and over that distance it, it will make an impact. So if I set it out like this then it's minimal impact really with the mounting of the engine and we can use the battery to fine tune our CG when we've got the whole plane finished by just moving it a little bit further forward, a little bit further back. And I'll probably put in an extra piece of balsa here just to strengthen the, the, uh, the sheeting because of the, the weight of the battery. But I think that works out quite a nice solution. Right, I've been working on the placement of the servos, now we have an idea of how it's going to balance out. And this one here for the elevator, it's going to have a line running down the back. I've just mounted on its side between a couple of pieces of softwood, and I put on it, on the floor here, uh, the, on the sheeting that was there, I've put some one and a half mil ply, just to strengthen that a little bit. A couple of bits of balsa on the top of the servo just to stop it sliding that way and I strapped it down so that should be nice and firm no problems. I've also mounted a smaller servo here which is just on a, a block there epoxied onto the rail and a piece of balsa here with a, a three mil piece of plywood set in which I can screw into. This small Emac servo here is going to have a line running down for the uh, for the throttle linkage. Now these were the uh, ideal locations I think to try and get the balance right. I've also moved the engine back and I've moved that back about three quarters of an inch. I haven't actually drilled the holes for that yet. I've just put in a single bolt in that because the the um, the rear hole in the rail I've lined up with the front hole on the lug and I've just put a single bolt to hold that in place for the moment and I'm not going to drill those holes in the rail until the very last minute because it might be that I want to move that back a little bit so rather than keep drilling the rails I'm going to leave that for now. The tank was going to sit there and is shown on the plans sitting there 
but there's not enough room now we've moved the engine back. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just shave off a little bit of this leading edge. I don't want to take off too much because I think that's kind of an integral part for strength. But I'm going to take off a little bit, put a little bit of bolster on the back and sit the tank there and I'm going to then have to build up this centre section. There's ribs to go in and then there's some sheeting with sort of access covers. Now this seems to balance out pretty pretty nicely and I'll just move the camera away and we'll have a look at, uh, at how that works. Right well now we've got everything laid out in the new location and we have to remember that there's still control linkages to come down to the front, there's still control linkages that will go down to the tail and we've got this central location to, uh, to cover over and do some access hatches. So there is going to be some additional weight to this, but a lot of it is around the centre. So, but anyway, now we've got those servos and the battery where it is, it more or less balances out. I mean, this is just roughly there on my fingertips on the, the correct CG location. And that seems to balance out pretty nicely. And as you can see, I've, I've got a prop on this time. Now, there's no point in trying to do it too accurately, any more accurately than we've got, because as I say, we've, we've still got things to do. But I think this has been a really valuable exercise in allowing us to understand where the CG was, which was obviously way, um, way forward of, of where it needed to be, being very nose heavy. So it's allowed us to do some little changes and locating the servos in the optimal place to get that balance right in the end. So the next thing we need to do now is to start thinking about getting that centre section finished with the access covers, getting those extra two ribs in and uh, getting this to a finished state where we can then think about the exact um, CG, getting this CG exactly right and maybe we will add just a very small amount of weight to the tail or the nose but I doubt it because I think the uh, location of the battery now is at a point where if we stick it right back there it ends up tail heavy. If we stick it right at the front here we end up nose heavy. So we've got enough movement in that battery I think to play with when we've got it finished to get the CG spot on where it should be on the plans without adding any extra weight. So I hope you enjoyed that, I hope you saw the, the benefit of, of kind of mocking it up and, 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 and seeing kind of where we are at this midway stage or well slightly later than midway. But in the next video we're going to be looking at that hatch and getting that sorted. So thanks for joining me and I hope you enjoyed that. And, Please subscribe, come back and, uh, and see how we get on with the build of Voodoo 6.